You can get studio quality sound in Adobe Audition by following some simple steps. The configuration you have to do is minimal and very easy to follow. I will show the steps and follow along with me to make your raw recording amazing. The waveform you see on the screen is my original recording. I have not added any audio processing to it. Let's listen to the original recording a bit. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio The volume level is not ideal and we need to process it more. The first step will be to normalize it. Adobe Audition has a shortcut to the normalization process in the favorites menu. The ideal value of normalize on many platforms is minus 3 dB and we will use that. Normalization is the process of setting the peak amplitude or the loudest point of the audio. If I normalize this audio to minus 3 dB, the loudest this audio can get is minus 3 dB. If you do not understand this, do not worry. Select normalize to minus 3 dB and you are all set to move forward. You may notice the waveform became taller after normalizing. That means the volume level of this recording is now increased than before. If we listen to the audio we will notice the difference. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. After normalization, the volume increased. But as a side effect, the noise level or noise floor of the quiet parts also increased. Adobe Audition has some excellent effects to deal with such noise. You can see all common noise reduction effects here. For hissing noise or white background noise, three effects are useful. Noise reduction process, adaptive noise reduction, and denoise. Among these three effects, denoise is the easiest to configure. I will use denoise. I will get back to the remaining process shortly. Before that I want to show you a preset I made in Adobe Audition. I have pre-configured all the effects in the right sequence in a preset. I have several presets, and clear voice is one of them. I will apply this preset to this raw recording, and the audio will become fantastic with just a click. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio, recording, to clean up audio recordings using Audacity, you have to know some basics about the audio data. Though Audacity is 100% free, it is powerful enough to do professional quality work. Many full-time voice artists and audiobook narrators also use Audacity. You have to understand how to identify an audio problem. You have to know which action. If you want to get this preset and others, you can get them from this Buy Me A Coffee page. I will put a link in the description. You will get four presets, rich, clear, high quality, and general improve. You can get a free demo of your voice recording with these presets. Email me your recording sample, and I will send you a demo. Installing these presets is very easy. All the necessary information can be found on the preset description page. In addition to getting these presets, if you want to learn Adobe Audition professionally, you can take the Adobe Audition bundle. The bundle has all the presets, as well as an Adobe Audition course for voice editing and audiobook narration. You will find all the links in the description. I will get back to the process I was working with. I have already applied the normalizing effect to this audio and said that I would use denoise for noise reduction. The amount of noise the denoise effect reduces can be seen visually. We can visualize the changes of an effect in Adobe Audition. To understand how much noise is being reduced, I will toggle the preview editor and spectral display. This is the button to enable the preview editor. If I click on it, a preview editor will be shown in the waveform. You can see another waveform appeared. The bottom waveform is the preview editor. If I apply any effect, the preview of applying such effect will be shown in the preview editor. You will understand it in a moment. I will also turn on the spectral display. This button will enable the spectral display. This is a toggle button. Clicking again will turn off the spectral display. I will keep the spectral display on to understand how the denoise performs. On the top, you will see the current waveform. On the bottom, you will see a preview of applying an effect. I have already opened the denoise configuration. You can notice the spectral display is brighter here. I was not talking here, so we see the spectral display of only noise here. If you notice, the preview area is a bit darker than the above. 
because it shows how it will become after we apply the denoise. The more noise I reduce, the darker it will become. If I choose heavy noise reduction, you will see it will become more dark. These are now quite dark. Notice the amount, it is 80% for heavy noise reduction. If I choose light noise reduction, you will notice the amount changes. The noise reduction amount is now 20%. It is not as dark as heavy noise reduction in the spectral display. That means light noise reduction is reducing less noise than heavy noise reduction. Too much noise reduction can hamper the audio quality. I will use a moderate setting, like 40%. You need to listen to the audio before applying a configuration. You need to make sure it sounds okay. You can toggle an effect on and off to bypass the configuration. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. It sounds okay with the denoise configuration and I will apply it. So far, I have applied normalize and denoise. You should take note of the order of effects I am using. If you are a beginner you should follow the sequence of effects. If you alter the sequence, you may not get the desired high quality audio. The next effect will be the parametric equalizer. It is inside filter and EQ. I will reset to the default configuration so that you understand what changes I am making. I will add a high pass filter. To activate the high pass filter, click on the HP icon. The high pass filter is active and I will now set the frequency for the high pass filter. I will set it around 80 Hz. Every voice recording should have a high pass filter of around 80 Hz. It helps to cut out low frequency noises. If you learn about voice frequency, generally there is nothing below 80 Hz. A high pass filter around 80 Hz can make the sound cleaner. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. I feel it is sounding better with a high pass, and I will apply it. Please note that EQ is a complex process, and I am applying an absolute minimum EQ for human voice. I have other videos explaining complex EQ procedures on voice. The next effect I will apply is a compressor. It helps to reduce the dynamic range. If you look closely at the waveform, some peaks are higher than the rest. The taller these peaks are, the more dynamic range a recording has. A reduced dynamic range can make the voice better audible both on quiet and loud parts. In other words, the quiet talks will become perfectly audible. Adobe Audition has several effects to help the process, and we will use the dynamics effect. There are several presets for dynamics. We will be using a modified version of soft compression. Soft compression only has the compressor active. The autogate and expander are not active in soft compression. For this tutorial, we will only use the compressor. I will only change the ratio in the compressor. Other values will be the default. A ratio between 2 to 1 to 3 to 1 adds a moderate amount of compression. I will set it to 2.5 to 1. If you have followed the best recording practices and followed this tutorial so far, this setting is good enough for high quality audio. If you look closely at the waveform pattern, the waveform with the compressor looks more equal. In other words, we can say the dynamic range is reduced. If I play the audio you can hear the difference. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio recording, to clean up audio recording, I will apply this compressor setting. We are very close to finalizing the processing. I will normalize it again to minus 3 dB. Because with all the processing we have done so far, the audio level may be changed. Normalize it to minus 3 dB as a final step will help to set proper loudness for the final audio. We do not need the preview window anymore, so I will close it. The audio is processed now. I can go back and forth to the original and processed audio from history. We will listen to it with the processing off sometimes, and you will notice what a difference the processing has made. Please note that when I switch between the original and processed audio during live playback, you may hear some glitches. That is because I am switching between original and processed audio during live playback. The actual processed audio or the original audio has no such glitch. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software 
available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the Audacity editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio recording, to clean up audio recordings using Audacity, you have to know some basics about the audio data. Though Audacity is 100% free, it is powerful enough to do professional quality work. Many full-time voice artists and audiobook narrators also use Audacity. You have to understand how to identify an audio problem. You have to know which action you need to take. Then you have to follow through what kind of improvements you are getting with those actions. Knowing these kind of things will help you in the long run. You will become comfortable using any other paid software once you learn Audacity. With other audio editing software, you can drag and drop. You now should have an idea of how the processing makes a difference. I would highly recommend you to practice the things you just saw. Take a raw recording and apply all the steps you saw in this video. You will be pretty amazed by the result. I already shared this preset pack with you. I also have a course on Adobe Audition. It suits the purpose of voice editing. If you do any kind of voice editing, this course will suit you. You can check the curriculum by following the link in the description. If you are serious about learning audio editing, I recommend you take this course. You will find all the necessary links in the description and in the pinned comment.